Good morning to all of my young gardeners. This is Susu, and I'm out in the garden this morning. I have been watching the honeybees fly around the squash flowers. The squash plants have really done well. The foliage is large and a dark green color. Squash plants have both male and female flowers. Here we have a male flower, and you can see the honeybees are collecting pollen and nectar to take back to their beehive so they can make honey. We all love honey. It's a great treat. You can see the structure in the center of the flower that the bee is on. That is called the stamen. The stamen is the male part of the flower that produces the pollen. And it's funny that that word stamen ends in the word men, M-E-N. So that'll help you remember the word stamen, which is the male part of the flower. The bee is collecting pollen. He's also getting it all over his body and wings so that when he travels over to the female flower, which is right here, he will spread the pollen on the pistil. The pistil is in the center of the flower, and it is much larger than the male part, which is the stamen. So when he's on the pistil, he will spread the pollen onto the stigma, which is at the top of the pistil. And that will fertilize the flower. At the base of the flower is the unfertilized squash. So today, the bee will pollinate the flower and then fertilize the squash which will then grow into a large squash that we can eat. You can see down below, there's already a squash that's been fertilized and is starting to grow. So it won't be long before we'll have squash to cook. Over here, we have a flower bud at the tip. This hasn't opened up yet. At the base of the flower bud is the unfertilized squash. So this is how you can tell the difference between the male and the female flowers. You'll always see the small squash at the base of the flower. So it's very important that we take care and protect our honeybees because they are very busy workers pollinating our fruits and vegetables so that we have something to eat. We're always learning in the garden. Over and out. Love you.